Today I'm introducing you to the newest member at Six Pack Shortcuts, the one and only Connor Murphy. What's up guys? This right here is Connor Murphy, and he's the newest member here at Six Pack Shortcuts. For those of you who don't know Connor, he's an NPC rising star, a fat loss expert, and a pro at picking up chicks. He's got his own YouTube channel where basically all he has to do is take off his shirts and chicks come falling for him. Not a lot of guys realize being ripped actually matters to women. Watch some of his videos and you'll see instantly some of those genuine reactions as soon as that shirt comes off. So tell us a little bit about yourself. When did you know that you wanted to get into fitness? So I started fitness at a really young age, around 11. You know, you're never too young to start. That's a huge myth. So I started doing pull-ups and bodyweight exercises when I was 11 years old, got to the weight room around 13, um, been working out ever since. Over the past couple years, I really got focused on like the technical aspect, really tried to accumulate as much knowledge as possible so I could, you know, exercise as efficiently as possible. So I've, uh, I've definitely improved a lot over the past couple years. Cool, well, how old are you? I'm 22 right now, yeah. Okay, and so, well, let's talk about like your daily life. What do you, what do you typically do? Like what's the day hmm. in the life of Connor like? Um, mostly picking up girls, you know, and filming it. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I'm just kidding, that's only on the weekends. During the week, I, you know, I plan how I'm going to pick up girls, right? What tricks to use, stuff like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. But other than that, I'm a student. Uh, I'm studying math and economics. I graduate in the spring. Cool. Um, and I, I golf, you know, I'm sure you could have guessed that from looking at the physique. Yeah, yeah. that's a given, I obviously. Played, played college golf the past few years. Oh. Um, so yeah, but of course, YouTube and school, it, it takes up most of my time, yeah. Well then, how do you find time for like training and meal prepping and meal planning and all that stuff? With meals, I prepare foods that I can prepare extremely quickly, like in five minutes, right? I don't want to okay. waste a lot of time preparing food. You know, you don't have to go and cook the, just the stereotypical chicken and rice all the time, you know? I mean, sandwiches, I eat, you know, Greek yogurt, uh, you know, I cook quick protein pancakes, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so convenience. Mm -hmm. Well, are you like, so you're in school, so right. convenience is key, and I'm sure that a lot yes. of people who are training and want a good physique, they feel like meal planning's like the most stressful part, particularly. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Just find foods that are easy to prepare. Yeah, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. And then the, the training aspect, I mean, I feel like a lot of people think that training takes more time than it actually does. I spend no longer than an hour in the gym, right? You're right. And I'm advanced, right? So beginners, they only need to be spending, you know, 45 minutes in the gym, right? If you use that as an excuse, there's not enough time in the day, well, I mean, honestly, your priorities just aren't in the right place. Ugh, I know, seriously. Yeah. 45 minutes? Seriously, that's enough. Um, well, cool. Um, so let's talk about your competing. Um, what did you, did you like competing? Like, what got you into it? Oh man, it, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. Yeah. Because getting on stage, you know, being able to show off in front of a bunch of people, obviously from my YouTube videos, I like to show off. So <laughs> the, the, the adrenaline I get, it feels great. And I like how, um, you know, you get to see where you are. You get to see how you compare to other people. Mm -hmm. So everyone's under the same lighting. You really get to see, you know, what your physique actually looks like rather than what you think it looks like. Mm -hmm. And it gives you incentive to diet down and really show off your best physique, right? I've done one show so far and I might in the future, yeah. Well, what would be a huge tip that you'd give to somebody who's interested in it? Well, definitely don't rush into it, right? You wanna build a lot of muscle for many years before you compete, right? If you if you're constantly trying to bulk and then cut down for a show, bulk then cut down for a show, it's really just gonna stunt your progress. If you're at 15% body fat, you have to give yourself a lot more time than you know if you're at 8% body fat. Most people give their, th themselves 12 or 16 weeks for a show. What's your best tip for getting abs? Best tip for getting abs? A lot of people overcomplicate getting abs. I mean, it's really all about the low body fat percentage, right? Mm -hmm. Ab exercises, they might help give that roundness to the abs, that fullness, but you have to be at a low body fat to see your abs. So to get there, you need to be eating at a deficit, right? Mm -hmm. um, and to help yourself do that, you might wanna do some high intensity interval training or stuff like that, but it really all comes down to eating at a deficit and getting lean. Well, you've got the aesthetic physique thing down, so yeah. good for you. Thank you. Um, what are some great exercises that you'd recommend for somebody who wants to get a physique like you? Okay, so I think besides abs, right, you really wanna focus on the chest and shoulders. The chest and shoulders, I think, are the most you know, aesthetic muscle groups 
on a guy. You know, the shoulders really give you that V taper and the chest, they're just, it's the center of your body, you know what I mean? We get it, us ladies like a broad shouldered man. Yeah. yeah, I know. Like what kind of exercises though? Like so, what are your so, favorites? So like incline bench is definitely one of my favorites because okay. it works chest and shoulders. Of course you wanna add in some accessories, you know, like lateral raises, you know, um, to really hit those shoulders, you know, and yeah. other chest exercises, but yeah. Honestly, my favorite is incline bench for sure. Mm -hmm. You're in college, so how do you stay in shape in college? Because let's be honest, between partying and booze and late night Whataburger runs or whatever fast food, it's gotta be tempting. And especially since you're surrounded by that kind of demographic, like right. how do you do it? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely tempting. Um, but first you gotta understand that it's definitely okay to do it in moderation, you know what I mean? If you, yeah. go, out, if you go out and party or eat some bad food once a week, it, it's not gonna help, but it's not gonna hurt that much, right? You don't wanna be so obsessive about fitness that you can't have fun, right? Yeah. But here's how I think of it. So, you know, that food, it's it's gonna be enjoyable for a little bit, but then it's gone. You know, if yeah. you if you develop and maintain an aesthetic physique, it can it can last a lifetime, you know what I mean? So Connor, tell me what sets you apart from any other trainer or fat loss expert? Um, well, see in my line of work, I guess you could say. I have to stay lean year round, so it's really important for me to stay lean. I figured out a way to stay really lean, but uh -huh. still be able to, you know, put on muscle over time. That obviously takes research and experience and, right. t you know, trial and error to figure out what works and everybody's different. So right. you figured it out, which is awesome. So one more question. Okay. So what is one thing that you've never told your YouTube viewers, but you'll share with six pack shortcuts? Oh man. All right. So. You know, I'm pretty open and honest with my vlog channel, but I guess something I wouldn't necessarily want my main channel to know, Okay. all right, is that I'm definitely not as confident as I appear in my videos. You know, my videos are kind of a way to uh, act like the confident guy I've always wanted to be, uh -huh. right? So I've kind of struggled with confidence over the past. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Struggle with confidence? I, I know, I know it's weird, but I've always kind of been a shy and introverted guy. Uh -huh. and. Honestly, that's why I really like making these videos because it, it really helps me. I wouldn't really want my main channel to know that because I don't know, I might lose some of my haters. And honestly, <laughs> honestly, it's good to have some haters because it causes controversy, you know, gets, you get more popular with haters. He's humble, guys. He's humble somewhere in there. Well, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for coming in, Connor. We yeah, appreciate you Thank sharing. you for having me, yeah. For more training tips and workouts from Connor, stay locked in to Six Pack Shortcuts. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.